Hi, this is Karen Kingsbury and welcome again to another video. This time I'm painting a couple of empty spaces in the backyard where I haven't put a mural. Here's one of them. And then the other one I never painted because a special thing happened. A man's face popped out of this fence and so I decided not to paint it. So I'm going to leave Jerry in and paint a coral reef around him. I decided to try a technique of integrating spray paint with enamel paint, latex paint, and acrylic paint. And so this was the start. Once I put the coral reef in, I kept augmenting it, changing it, adding new things. The more I painted the coral reef, the more I saw I had to change the directionality of the water completely. The best part of this was adding all of the living creatures and having fun with it. I was really excited when it was finished because it turned out so happy and fun. Hope you think so too. Well, I was really excited to start my second mural because I learned so much from the first one. I decided with this one, I was gonna go dark on the background and then drama, drama, drama on the coral. So bright colors, lots of contrast, lots of layers. The beauty of working with paint is if you mess up, you can just paint over it, so don't be afraid. Here in Modesto, we have quite a hot summer, so I would paint every morning until it was too hot. I began to be very impatient to finish this background because I could imagine all the critters I was going to put on this mural. All these pretty little fish were still a background for something yet to come. What was I going to do with all that ocean water that had nothing on it? I had a plan. I considered my sea turtle the star of the show. But I had one more thing I had to do, and that was make my granddaughter, Hannah, her request of 10 seahorses. See if you can spot them. You can imagine my joy when Hannah spotted her 10 seahorses. Well, that's it for me. I really hope that you enjoyed this and thank you for watching.